Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, and CMG. So PCLN, inside bar on the daily time frame, a bear break will occur at 1913 and a bull break at 1924. So it shows the tightening range. It's still very healthy consolidation. Could still call that a bull flag after the seven-day bull run that we did see. We are looking for a higher low to form and the bulls to get on with filling this gap back to the upside. But the correlation with the S&P 500 and the weakness that we saw in the S&P 500 today, we do need to be cautious of a bit more further consolidation. So we'll see how this inside bar breaks tomorrow for an indication of momentum heading into next week. The weekly time frame is showing a weak candlestick as well with some profit taking. We'll look at the potential of a back test of the middle Bollinger Band as support. 1886 is that level. And that would still be very healthy consolidation if we bounced off that level and held that back test. That would give the bulls some confidence for continuation as well. NVDA new all-time high today, but rejecting from the upper Bollinger Band for the second time in three days. And the new all-time high was only by about 14 cents, so not significantly higher. And it is a bearish reversal doji. So if we do break the low of today tomorrow... 189.93 we will be looking to confirm this candlestick and potentially see some further pullback there's a little gap right here that would be our initial target that's at 186.73 so obviously the bulls are in full control if we're hitting new all-time highs it's just keeping an eye out for signs of consolidation as the market is showing some signs of consolidation and watching to see if that's going to end up playing out the weekly time frame is still very strong upper bollinger band 190.21 bulls are going to try and close above that level tomorrow to be in breakout mode on this weekly time frame and we have not been in breakout mode since back in june so that would certainly be welcomed by the bulls but it all depends on whether we confirm this bearish doji or not on the daily tesla another rejection from the middle bollinger band this is now five times in the last seven days and we have a bit of a double top 160.10 or make that 360.10 and 359.78 so a 32 cent lower high. We have our low, high of the bounce, higher low, lower high. So we could not break over that level. There's an upper wick of profit taking. The middle Bollinger Band resistance is still rejecting the price. And we are watching to see if we can break this double top. If not, bulls have to hold 342.67, or we could see the potential of a double top and then a lower low by losing that level. The weekly time frame on Tesla is an inside bar trying to hold the middle Bollinger Band on the weekly. So far, they're doing a good job of that. And we'll see if they're able to keep that up from here as we are looking at that double top. It's pretty much all about the middle Bollinger Band and that double top of resistance. And if we see a break of the low today, tomorrow of 352.64, that would be red flag number one for short-term bulls. Netflix on the daily time frame, resistance 199.40, lower high at 198.62. And we've got the low of support of 192.10. So it's essentially an equilibrium pattern. We did see some nice follow through from a bull break of the inside bar on the daily, over $2 of upside. But it's an equilibrium pattern forming as we have our all-time high, low of the pullback, lower high is now 198.62. And we're looking for the bulls to form a higher low compared to 192.10 to see the range continue to tighten into next week. The weekly time frame is showing a bearish reversal candlestick with some consolidation. But I wouldn't really be focusing on the weekly at this point. I'd be focusing on the daily and this tightening range to see which direction it is going to break. CMG with a strong close. I'm watching the CMG bulls very close over the next week because we're at the 50-day moving average resistance, which rejected the last bounce attempt high. And if we can close over that to end the week tomorrow, if we can break 314.50, which was a double top on Tuesday, and close over this 50-day moving average, the bulls will have some good momentum heading into next week. And we're looking at this weekly chart, which has been rejecting from exponential resistance, but we're on the verge of a bull MACD. The RSI is coming off of oversold, and we're looking for this higher low and higher high by breaking 326.45. And if this oversold bounce gets going, I see a pretty easy 5 to 10% move coming, but we are not convinced just yet. We are looking at some bullish momentum, but we need this follow-through with step number one being the 50-day moving average resistance, becoming support tomorrow, ideally for the bulls. So I appreciate you watching. We will continue to check back in. And for now, we'll see you next time.